Capstone is a relatively uh, new company. We've been making products commercially for about the last 15 years. Um, and so the question, of course, is where is this microturbine technology going to be successful? Most of our success today has been in the stationary side of the business, um, where we're a little bit more expensive than a traditional reciprocating generator, but we bring some features that certain customers really value. So one is turbines are very reliable. They run forever. I like to tell people, you know, you start up a turbine, you put a brick on the accelerator, you come back a year later and change the air filter. So extremely robust, extremely reliable. That's why oil and gas customers, for example, like to use our product. So that means maintenance costs are low, your product is very reliable. Another advantage we have is uh, emissions. Uh, we meet the latest, most strict air emissions requirements, whether they be stationary, tier four, or whether they be the carb requirements for vehicles. So we're kind of a natural, and we do that without any active exhaust after treatment, like you know the diesel emission fuels or some of the SCRs you see on the stationary equipment. So for those reasons, we think there's obviously a fit someplace in the world for microturbines, and our business is growing. We think especially there's a fit in the vehicle side of the business. As electrification of the vehicles increases, people are trying to improve the efficiency of the whole vehicle. They're going to need to go to an electric drive with some kind of energy storage. Why? Because they can recover the braking energy. So in any kind of a stop and go environment, if you can recover that braking energy, your vehicle becomes more efficient. So now instead of having to have an engine with the peak power to accelerate the truck, now you can go with a motor at that power and recapture the energy, put it into a battery, but the range extender doesn't have to be at that high level. The range extender can be smaller. Uh, and so again, we think that's a very good fit for a microturbine. And at the same advantages of the low maintenance, no oil to change because we're using air bearings, uh, the good efficiency on any fuel, the fact uh, that it actually fits in very nicely with the electrification because we produce electricity directly. We don't go through a gearbox or anything like that. We think there is a future uh, in volume, when we get the cost down, there's a future for our product uh, in both the trucking and busing and ultimately in the automotive industry. So when you talk about a future for this product, well, realistically, uh, how far away do you think we are before we could see something like this actually being uh, so, spec so, by fleets? And sure. Do you think that, uh, again, realistically, that you're going to need some sort of government incentives to kick into place in order to make it feasible. Right. Initially, most new technologies need some kind of incentive to get them going. Uh, but we do have some partners that we're working with. Obviously, you're seeing here a concept vehicle that's out in the future someplace. But we have some other partners, some OEMs, that are taking our turbines today and putting them into delivery trucks uh, as a repowering. So again, electric motor, battery, our microturbine is the range extender and we see that business starting to grow. Uh, so yes, I think even in the short term, you're going to start to see our turbines being deployed in select applications where the payback is there, and as we get the volume up, the cost will come down, and we expect then it will see growth in the future in this market. And I'm sure having Walmart as a partner must oh, this completely is raise the, the profile of what you uh, well, this Walmart's been a great partner, you know. Uh, they had the vision to pull together this team. Uh, we were really a, a subcontractor, if you will, to Peterbilt. Uh, Peterbilt was the one that had the direct contract with Walmart, uh, but they've been very supportive all the way through, and they've challenged all of us, not just Capstone, but other partners, to put forth the latest in technology, put together things that nobody ever put together, and let's see what we can do. And then out of this, we'll do some testing. We'll compare it with the simulations that we have, and we'll we'll get a path forward. So it really is how do we, your question you're asking is how do we go forward with this technology? You know, exactly what you see here is probably not what will be on the roads five years from now, but maybe a derivative like this. Speaking of what you see here, uh, I mean, when you're planning this out and, and you're, you've got the engineering drawings, did you ever think it would look like this? We, we actually saw the original drawings mm -hmm. first, but you know what, it, it is, it's different when you see the drawings. Mm -hmm. It's even different when you see the photograph of this truck right. compared to being right here in front of mm -hmm. it. So it is, it is much more impressive you know, when you're right here right, than, than even a photograph of it.